What's going on everyone? 75 South Garden here with another video and today we're going to talk about these guys right here. Strawberries. The first thing you need to know about growing strawberries is what grows best in the zone you stay in. The second thing you need to know is the three types of strawberries. You have June bearing, day neutral, and ever bearing. June bearing are determinant strawberries that grow all their fruit at once and after that they're done for the season. The strawberries I grow here are day neutrals and they will produce all season until the first frost. Then you have ever bearings which will produce two to three large yields throughout the growth season. Strawberry plants also produce long shoots called runners. And we have one right here. And the runner is basically going to turn into a new strawberry plant. Now if you want lots of new plants, you can let this grow. If not, you can simply cut it off. I usually cut them about this long and wait till this piece here gets about four inches. That should be about three or four set of leaves. And you sit it down in some water in the windowsill. And within a week or two, it should root. And you can plant it out into the garden. Now to keep birds out of my strawberries, I put this bird netting up. Another thing they have is support racks that press down into the soil. And it's basically a flat surface that sticks down into the soil so that the strawberries can sit on top away from the ground where the pests are. Some people also like to paint small pebbles red so that when the birds come and the bird pecks that pebble a few times he will think that all of your strawberries are hard rocks and they'll leave them alone. It works for some people and for some people it doesn't, but it doesn't hurt to try it. So, you can also plant oregano or bunching onions around your strawberry plants to keep pests away. You want to leave the strawberries on long enough to get a nice deep red before picking them. These here have a few more days. Now, if you see any damaged strawberries, always pick it off and throw them away. You don't want to invite the pests to have something to eat on. Strawberries need good loose soil. And you always want to plant your strawberries in early spring. Now, when planting them, be sure to never bury the crown of the plant. If you do, it will probably rot out and it won't grow. Now, you also want to plant your strawberry plants anywhere from 6 to 12 inches apart. And they need a slow release fertilizer, but you can add a little compost to your soil and as the compost breaks down, it will fertilize them throughout the growing season. You can also use fish fertilizer for growing strawberry plants. I think the NPK on that is like 511. Strawberry plants also like moist soil. So always add mulch to keep weeds down. And mulch also provides a barrier in between the soil and berries so that the pests in the soil won't feed on them. Now as it starts to grow, what you want to do is cut these flowers off. You want to focus on root development and plant growth for new plants like this one over here. Anytime a flower grows on this plant, I cut it off for the first year of growth. That's it for today's video. So always remember you need good loose soil. You want to add mulch. 
to lock in that moisture in your soil and add a barrier in between the soil and the berries so the pests won't eat on them. Also, add compost to fertilize the strawberries or you can use fish fertilizer or both. Now, runners is optional. You can cut these and put these in a jar like this in the windowsill and within a week they should root. Now I got about 16 runners in there that all come from this one container here. These containers are about $13 at your local nursery and if you want lots of plants for a little money just find one that has lots of runners on it. And if you found this video helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe below and hit that notification bell for weekly updates. And always remember to plan your garden with your helping mind.